Grimash plays a big role in the new expansion, so we're like, dude, we've got to do, you know, big orc. People will love seeing this thing. The thing that I'm really excited about is giving the audience and our fans a chance to see what a orc would look like up close. And if it looks like this thing's alive and engaging you, then we've achieved our goal. This is an awesome character. Every time we do one of these projects for Blizzard, when we're done, we're just so proud of it. This is a sculptor's dream. Grimash has been in Warcraft lore for a really long time. So it's important we make the statue really epic. The first thing we do is we build a maquette. It's a preliminary sculpt that you do to capture the essence of the final piece. Typically they're rough, but sometimes they're fully finished, like in the case of Grimash. We decided to use the maquette that I made because there is that spot that you can stand where he's screaming right in your face. I'm super excited to see where Steve will take this. I'm Steve Wang, and this is Alliance Studio. We do concept art, we do 3D digital modeling, printing, all the way to doing statues for game companies. I've been working with Blizzard now for about 10 years. The first project that I did for Blizzard was Nova, and it led to doing Illidan, Kerrigan, Jim Rayner, and Tyrael. Steve Wang and his crew operate on a level of badassery that is unmatched. We've been working together for roughly 10 years. You know, different experience, right? Same level of commitment to quality, but now he's got this full-fledged studio, some of the best craftsmen in the world, right? Now he's adopted a lot of the 3D technologies. He's got the full production environment, which makes the end product better. So we did a scan of the maquette, and then what we did was Eddie straighten them out which allowed us to, to print it to scale. Okay. So we have some sort of physical reference when we do the sculpture. Right. From here, we're going to build the armature, right. the sculpture armature. How long do you think the build process is going to be for this? Uh, we're scheduling basically four months. It'll take us the next couple of weeks to engineer out the armature and build it. Okay. And then we'll start sculpting in about two weeks. Yeah, dude, that's epic. It's going to be epic. So today we're taking a look at the Hellscream armature, right? the full size, the life size version of it, and basically getting an understanding of its scale and height. We've designed the armature in CAD, and we have all the pieces cut out and scaled properly, and we've welded it. This is a really good representation of what we're going to be building. I just don't want it to feel too small, right? Like at first I was just like, oh, is he small? Right? Because he's hunched over and we're seeing only a skeleton, we're not seeing a full balance. But I want him to command that level of presence, try right? and not get lost in the crowd. And you know, I think a lot of people also use these as meetup places, mm -hmm. right? Looking at this, I could imagine us raising it just a little bit more, just to give, make it a little bit more impressive. Yeah, that to me feels more in that, that sweet spot. The thing about Steve that's always impressed me, you know, he creates these beautiful sculptures, and I come in, I'm like, hey, we need to elongate this, and I'm waiting for you know him to go, my beautiful sculpture, you want me to what? He immediately will take his knife and scratch across the surface of this almost final sculpture and be like, well, I'll have to cut it here. And he's just so professional about that. He just understands that to get the best result, you don't make excuses, you go right after it. Having worked with Nick now for 10 years, knowing his taste and knowing he's so focused on, on the minutest detail, you know, we know what we're in for. It's going to be a real challenge, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Your face is so awesome. I think it makes him more impressive. When you see the thing that he slayed, understand the lore behind it and how this guy's enslaved them, right? And now he's on top of it, like claiming it. He's actually scaled down, right? Oh, really? Yeah. But when we were doing the maquette, it was just like we, we took Manoroth, right, chopped them up, put them underneath, right, just to scale it. And I'm like, this isn't gonna work, because in the cinematic, you don't see that. He just comes down, plunges on them, then we cut. We're gonna have this team coming up out of the mouth, right? Mm -hmm. It'll be getting cut by the teeth, which will look so awesome. Yeah, steam coming out, the eyes, we're gonna do a little animation on it. Like, it's just kind of like dimming, like it's dying. Oh, awesome. And we'll just yeah, do a little bit nice. of animation. Play with that as well. Yeah, that's gonna look so good. With a project like this, because there's so many elements, there's armor pieces, you know, there's an ax that he holds. Once we get those pieces sculpted, molded, we can take these actual pieces and start putting it on. It's all just kind of a matter of juggling the time. 
You plan everything out so they kind of meet up at a certain point, timing-wise, so you can sort of move forward and be productive. The progress at which Steve and his team is working is unparalleled. Seeing at the rate at which they're producing this, quality, I've never seen anything like this. Oh my god. There's a story behind every piece of armor, every piece of costuming, the aging of it, it tells a story. I hope the fans of World of Warcraft can come up and see all the little stories on this character. I think that's gonna be really awesome. So nice, yes. I can't wait for the rest of the world to see, and I can't wait for BlizzCon to see this. I think it's gonna be something really special.